200 years ago, this man was thought to be a vampire who drank the blood of his relatives. In 1990, after a child stumbled across a skull in Griswold, Connecticut, archaeologists discovered an early 19th century cemetery of 28 graves. However, one burial was different from the rest. The skull and thigh bones were not in their anatomical place, but were stacked on the chest in the form of a pirate symbol with intersecting bones. Obviously, to make such a thing, the grave had to be opened several years after the burial, when the soft tissues had already had time to decay. After some research, experts found out that such a ritual with exhumation and relocation of bones was associated with the belief in vampires. It was done to prevent the dead from haunting the living. For a complete victory over the evil force it was supposed to burn the heart of the vampire, but in this case there was hardly anything left of it. After the ritual was performed, the coffin lid was replaced and the inscription, JB55, was stamped on it with copper nails. Judging by the characteristic pathological changes in the ribs, this man suffered from a severe form of tuberculosis, which brought him to the grave. Since there was no cure for tuberculosis in the 19th century, it was one of the most feared diseases in America. The appearance of the victims of the ailment and the lingering nature of the disease fueled the belief in the undead. The fear was so real that it became known as the New England Vampire Panic. Typically, a rural family was infected with the debilitating disease, and although they were often given a standard medical diagnosis, survivors believed that the first victims had become vampires and preyed on the rest of the family. An 18th century description of an 18th century tuberculosis victim stated, the emaciated figure is appalling. His forehead is covered with drops of sweat his cheeks are purple, his eyes sunken. To stop the monster, exhumation was required. At first, according to available records, archaeologists believed they had found the burial of the Walton family, but this was contradicted by the initials JB. It is likely that another family began using the cemetery after the Walton family left the area in the early 1800s. After a number of years, genetic analysis came to the scientists' rescue. In 2019, JB55's bones were re-examined using modern techniques. As a result of a search through genealogical databases, specialists found a match of the Y chromosome profile with the Barber family, whose ancestors lived in New England in the 18 and 19 centuries. They checked through archives to see if any Barbers once lived in Griswold and came across a newspaper announcement of the 1826 death of a boy named Nathan Barber, whose relative was John Barber. The researchers found a grave near JB that contained a coffin labeled NB13. So, with a high probability our vampire's name was John Barber. He was a hard-working farmer, suffered from arthritis and died of tuberculosis at the age of 55. After three years, scientists did another, more thorough DNA analysis, which showed that JB55 had fair skin, brown eyes, and brown hair. They were able to read the DNA of individual NB13 as well. The analysis showed a third degree of relatedness to JB55. Forensic anthropologist Tom Shaw of Parabon recreated John Barber's face using his skull and genetic analysis data. 